Hey you guys and welcome to Agri House Vlogs. My name is Lisa. Woo! I'm in my house. I've got my camera propped up on the windowsill, which seems to be like a good height for this. For when I'm standing up anyway. So I am at the house early this morning. And if you guys know me, um, you know I'm not an early morning person. But oh well, here, let me set this up as well. So yesterday, Marvin and I stayed up until 11 something watching the Mesquite City Council meeting. And I, yeah, I don't know why. I mean, it was a good meeting. Um, there was a lot of like discord, you know, between these people and these people and the, all these people showed up to the city council meeting to say, we want a park. And then, yeah, there's just like, you'd have to watch it to get it. But um, we, it was, it was pretty interesting. So we stayed up and watched that even though I knew I had to be up early today. I really should have gone, I should have gone to bed at like eight o'clock last night to be prepared for this morning because the delivery was scheduled between seven and nine a.m. I know, seven and nine a.m. What, Lisa, are you even awake? I was this morning. So I got up about 6.10 and to get ready, and I was ready by 6.40, 6.45-ish, I was like ready. And um, which surprised the heck out of me. So I got a notification, they called it 6.48, the guy did and said he's gonna be there about <clears throat> in about 45 minutes, which would have been about 7.30, and I was like, okay, that's great. I'll be there. Give me a little extra time to kind of make my way, maybe get a hot chocolate. Um, oh, speaking of. Got my hot chocolate <laughs> from Starbucks. <laughs> if I could do like special effects and put like a like glowing light or something. Anyway, so he said he was gonna be here about 7.30. <gasps> Hang on. Else I ordered is out for delivery today. I'm sure it's my uh, bed spread for the guest bed that I don't own yet. I haven't bought it yet because um, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, let's let's finish the delivery story. So they were supposed to be here between um, seven and nine. Got the call. They're going to be here at seven thirty. That's fantastic. Got to call at seven twenty. Same guy. And he says, "Oh, you know, we're about ten minutes out. We're delivering to." X, X address in Rockwall. No, no, we're, we're delivering to this house here, which is in Mesquite. And um, he says, what's the address? And so I gave him the address and he goes, in Rockwall? No, <laughs> Mesquite. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know where I live. So um, he's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to call you back. I gotta call my boss. I said, uh, yeah, you do that, but please call me back, let me know. So, I don't get a call back. I try to call back the number, it goes straight to voicemail. And um, then, it goes straight to voicemail. And I'm like, Ugh. so then I try to look on, you get a text from Bed Bath and, not Bed Bath Man, you get a text, that's what I'm looking at right there. You get a text from Best Buy telling you like your delivery status stuff. So I click on that, touch it, and I go sign in, and it shows no deliveries, my next delivery is my next delivery, which is the TV, and, but that's next week. And so uh, I'm like, this is them, you guys. <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is Tori calling from Best Buy. How are you doing today? I'm pretty, de I'm doing awesome. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. I was just calling in regards of an escalation that I received about the wrong address that's on your order. Yes. Okay, update. I need, I need my hot chocolate. So here, here's an update. It's still cold in Texas. <laughs> uh, but I drink hot chocolate year round, it doesn't matter. I am slightly frustrated, but I'm trying to, my word for this year was grace. So I'm trying to give as much grace as I can in the situation because mistakes happen. So I'm gonna text my builder now and tell him, hey. <laughs> so yeah, it's not being delivered today probably. I'm not sure when it'll be delivered. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, who knows. But I have like appointments and we have things like tomorrow, we have the closing on our, uh, our house that we live in now. And yeah, so we have an appraisal today. Don't know what time that's happening because they haven't called or let me know or texted me or anything, um, which is awesome. Because usually you know the time, like usually you already have the time in, in mind or whatever. So, um, anyway, they were supposed to have come by 7.30 today, and then the guy said, I'll call you back, 
Uh, as soon as I talked to my boss. Well, he never called me back. So at eight o'clock is when I got this call that you guys saw me just take. <clears throat> and uh, so now she's like, oh, well, I'll see if we have the drivers in the skeet and I'll see if they can. She was being super sweet, um, but I'm like, I got up early, y'all. I got up so early and I'm tired. I am gonna admit I'm tired. So that's playing into my emotions right now. So I'm just trying to, you know what? It's still gonna be an awesome day. It's gonna be an awesome day. Um, when I went to go get my hot chocolate, I saw my friend Gloria. Hey Gloria girl, if you watch my videos, hey, it's good to see you today. I really need to get better about like taking photos like of people. Like if I see a friend or something like, like hey, let's take a photo together. Like. I really do. I like seeing my friends from school and stuff, or just my friends from work, or friends around town. I love seeing my friends, so I just need to commemorate the moment better. But I didn't. All right, so now I'm going to go to work because obviously we're not going to have anything happening. I think the next delivery is due here at 10. I think is the next time something's being delivered. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to do those resale certificates for the homeowners association that i'm still helping with that i'm not going to be helping with i told my broker again yesterday i'm like look i i'm done i it, it's it takes up time and um so i need to or want to have like more free time so i'm not just doing that well, it feels like all the time. I, I don't devote that much time to it. I'm not doing a good as job, uh, as good of a job as I should be doing, and that's another reason why I don't want to do it anymore. Because if I can't do an awesome job, I, you know, if I can't give a hundred percent, then I, d I don't want to do it. So because in my day, just say, you know, all this right here, this little chunk has to be devoted to that. And I'm not, I'm not fully able to devote what I want to and what I need to to make that job awesome. I need to let it go because it's pulling away. That energy and time could have been used on my other jobs that are more impactful like to my paycheck and stuff. So um, I'm going to talk to her again today like, hey, what are we going to do? <laughs> How are we going to be able to make this happen and, and stuff like that. So um, I have to make some phone calls, some, some phone calls today. See, I'm just... I'm, I need more hot chocolate. <laughs> Do y'all watch Graveyard Girl? That was uh, that was what she does. She drinks her tea and then she goes <sighs> like that. So, okay, she if you don't watch her, it's Bunny, um, and she spells her name G R A V, the number three Yard Girl, I think. Graveyard Girl. If you just type in Graveyard Girl, I'm sure it comes up. She has like millions of followers. I don't have millions of followers. Hey, Bunny, you want to give me some of your followers? <laughs> Girl. Because we both live in Texas, so we're basically best friends at this point in time. So, Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to reset. I'm going to go blow my nose. And I'm going to go reset the, uh, what do you call it? The alarm. And I'll be back here in like an hour and a half for the next delivery. Hopefully those guys will like say, hey, we're on our way. And so I don't have to just like sit here and wait. Um, but I was, I was gonna edit videos. I was gonna be productive. I was gonna edit videos. Oh, do you guys want a tour of the new house? I did one on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's there. But I'll give you a quick tour. Sans the refrigerator and furniture. This is an empty house tour. I don't have the refrigerator though. That's the only appliance missing. Because um, the washer and dryer don't count because they're not part of it. Well, I mean, they count, but they're just plain, so you wouldn't be like, ooh, ooh, yeah. So anyway, all right, let's, let's do, do a quick tour. Okay, guys, here's the front of my house. We have this lovely teal-colored door. It's called Intense Teal, and it's by Sherwin-Williams. The outside of the house is painted summit gray, I think. Summit gray, pretty sure. And the trim is snowbound. And then I think it's snowbound. Pretty sure it's snowbound. So you walk inside, and over here is our coat closet. And it's, it's nice and roomy. The walls are painted repost gray. And again, the doors, the cabinets, anything that's white is snowbound. 
and the lower cabinets are Westchester gray. But so this is the, this is the entryway. <coughs> I was gonna put a small like entryway table there, but because the way the door is, I don't want it to feel too crowded or cramped. So what I'm gonna do is this. So when you come in the door, I think if I put something right here, it's gonna feel too like like you're squeezing in and this is an extra large door this is like a 42 inch door i think so you shouldn't feel cramped walking in the door <coughs> so sorry about the cough it's texas allergies so i'm not going to put anything there but i think from where the light plug is ish over to here i'm just going to put a little side table not more than like 10 inches 12 inches max and maybe put like a little lamp and a mirror over it I'm not really sure. I might put some art on the wall right here. Um, but again, not super sure. So when you come into the house, the first thing you see is the lovely windows in front of you. And that goes out to our backyard. Our backyard is actually really super small. I don't think you can see it, but there's like a little tree right there that's cut off. That's where our backyard ends. All those trees right there, not our yard so really when you walk into the house you're gonna see basically fence a few trees but basically fence so we've changed the layout i've been telling folks the layout for the longest time but now we've decided to put center a love seat right there we're going to put a sofa right here and we're going to put an ottoman in the middle so it'll be open on this end and open on that end to access that room. And also we'll have a walkway right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the sofa table behind the sofa right here, or if I'm gonna put the sofa table over here somewhere. I feel like this needs something over here, but again, I also don't wanna just be filling up space because that's silly. So this is our fireplace. We did do the shiplap on top. This is shiplap. And we did graphite glass tiles here and just a running brick pattern. I like it. The fireplace guy is supposed to also come today too. Wah! He's not here yet. That's okay. So this way goes back. This is the laundry room. Delivery is happening today for the washer and dryer. And this is the master. So the master again, we come in here, carpet was delivered yesterday. And this goes into the master restroom. I don't know where we left off because I got several calls. People calling me because I'm popular, you know. But this is gonna be our master bedroom area. This is our master bedroom and just got the carpet in yesterday love it pad feels nice and soft this is the master bath we have the double vanity sinks lots of storage i love it lots and lots of storage and of course restroom with a cabinet above which is nice for extra toilet paper and such and then our shower which is an oversized shower it's like i think five 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 Got tiles going all the way up to the top. Here's the master closet. Yes, we're gonna be putting up some blinds here. Marvin's handling that. We've got a dresser going in here, a dresser going in on this side over here. That goes to the laundry room. And this is the master closet. That's where the shoes will go and some more stuff over here. So that ended up being the guy that does a fireplace. I'll show you that in a second. But here's our closet from another angle. And again, that's the window to outside. We'll put blinds where our long hanging stuff goes there. We have a shelf for storage right there. We have our more commonly worn, commonly worn shoes, more, or like frequently worn shoes we're gonna put right there. And then we have uh, Marvin's uh, hanging rack and then my hanging rack. And of course we have storage on top as well. So it's pretty nice. Like I said, there's gonna be a chest of drawers here and a chest of drawers on this side as well. There's no overhanging closet rod thing on Marvin's side, but it's fine, it's fine. 
completely fine. So one of my must haves for the house was to put the laundry room right off of the master closet. And that's what we did. So this right here is a folding table. Dryer's gonna go there, washer's gonna go over there. Of course I have cabinets above and I also have a clothes rod. So when I take stuff out of the dryer, I can hang it right up there and it'll be super handy. Plus we have a cabinet down here for extra storage. There is no lack of storage in this house. Straight ahead is the secondary master closet. Perhaps you could call it a winter closet. Perhaps you could just call it extra. I don't know. But this is where I'm gonna store our less frequently worn shoes. Like I don't wear snow boots. I don't wear, Marvin doesn't wear dress shoes, but several, you know, once or twice a year or something like that. So we're gonna store those types of shoes here. And then over here is where we're gonna store our off season clothing. So looking pretty nice. This goes back out into the living room. Fireplace guy doing his thing. Oh, he's setting in the logs. How fun is that? We're buying a table. It's gonna be a long table. It seats about six. I think it can expand to eight. That's gonna go right there. That's our hutch. Again, plenty of storage. The bottom cabinets are the Westchester Gray from Sherwin Williams. And then the uppers are that snowbound. And the lowers over here, again, all the dark gray is the Westchester, and then the white is the snowbound. This goes back to the mudroom. This right here is a utility closet. I'll do a better tour, like once we get things put in so you can see how it organized and how I set everything up. That's just a utility closet for like mops, our vacuum cleaner and stuff like that. This door over here goes out to the garage. This is the mud bench area. And you can take off your, we wear the same pair of shoes like pretty often. So, uh, especially Marvin. So we're just gonna put our shoes right there and then we can hang up our coats and such and then more storage up there. I'm probably gonna buy baskets because I thought I was gonna be able to reach and I can't, it's too high, but it's okay. This is a half bath, powder bath. And uh, again, with the storage, I just, this house has so much storage. And like I can put extra towel, hand towels down here. And uh, yeah, the mirror should be in soon. I forget when it comes in, but it should be in soon. It broke in the last delivery. And then coming in this way, going to the other side. I love this bank of of drawers and up. This is my one of my favorite things. Silly, but I love having a recycle of trash. Under sink storage, of course, dishwasher. This right here is where you put your baking pan so you can stand them up. I have one in my current house and I love it. That over there is a cabinet that had to be remade. They have to come back and paint it. And of course my cooktop stove area. I have these drawers at home, so I'm excited to have them again in this house. And this is normally a larger drawer. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in here, but this is normally a larger drawer, but I had to have these lowered because I'm not 12 foot tall. So I had them lowered. Okay, resuming the tour. This is secondary bedrooms, but this first is my walk-in pantry. Plenty of storage. This is the guest bedroom. Oh, looks like the landscaper's already working. This is the guest bedroom and goes into the Jack and Jill area shared restroom and tub and then this is my office area this is where the cats are going to lay and i'm buying two mats to go under here for the cats to uh, like the cat litter to be trapped better than what i have now and of course just regular sink and such my desk is probably going to be over there i'm just going to do a simple simple white desk really just a board on on legs is what i'm thinking and then I thought to uh, 
put like an ottoman or something over here with a mirror just to make it look kind of cute for videos. And then this wall right here is actually probably going to be my backdrop for a lot of my videos. So I'm trying to think of something fun to put here. If that's not the backdrop, this wall over here will be the backdrop. And that's actually a pretty good one because it's a, a nice size wall, plain. There's no doors or no light things in the way. Uh, light things, light switches, you know what I mean. And then of course my closet was an office closet so I don't have any clothes rods in here at all. So we have sod. So I'm out here, Atmos is out here to check the gas pressure. I've got the appraiser coming at noon to appraise the house. So y'all cross your fingers, <laughs> say your prayers, send up the good love and light for me that the house appraise is high because we need it to. And uh, they're going to check out the uh, gas situation. And I'm going to see if they know my son-in-law because he works for Admus too. And see if they know a friend of ours because he works for Admus. They probably don't, but just in case. Hey everyone, update. There was a a uh, gas pressure issue and so when you call into the Atmos Energy folks and you say gas pressure or whatever I don't know I didn't actually say she to she's the one that said it but when you call in and there's that kind of problem they send out a crew right away um, note to self nothing turns on unless you turn on the car so um, oh wow so they had to send somebody out we really weren't supposed to be in the house. We're not supposed to do anything until the Atmos people came out and checked it because we had had um, a tragic accident where a young girl died in an explosion. So to be on the safe side, we were not supposed to be in that. We weren't supposed to be in the house. Anyway, Atmos comes. As it turns out, it was just air in the line that the fireplace person was supposed to have flushed out or something like that. Slightly irritated, um, but now because me and the plumber guy who was with me, uh, who showed up, we went inside the house. We had mud on our shoes because they're putting sod in. And so sod, you're going you're gonna to bounce a little bit. But sod means once sod is in, we can get a CO, which is a certificate of occupancy, which means once we close on the Mulberry House, we can start moving stuff in. Yeah. Then, I'm fixing to take you guys down from there, but then the um, appraiser, who we want a high appraisal, remember? Everybody's thinking good thoughts about that. Praying, living, oh, they're moving stuff out of this house. Why? There's a house directly across from this Dollar General and it looks like they're moving stuff out. Are they gonna have a sale, an estate sale? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so um, if you guys fall, then I'll pick you back up. But anyway, oh, don't, oh. So I don't know if they're having an estate sale or not. I will have to check out the situation. Anyway, I have to go to the restroom. But because we made a little bit of a mess, I stopped by Dollar General. I bought a broom and some paper towels and some cleaner. There's a plane, it just looks lower than normal. So I was like, oh, but it's Southwest Airlines. I love Southwest Airlines. And I love traveling. And my goal for myself is to travel more with paid partnership work, paid brand work. And yeah, so I'm going to stop at my house and I'm going to go pate. Even though I bought some toilet paper for the new house, just in case, I got to go now and I'm right here. So yeah, <laughs> TMI. I'm back, you guys. I stopped at Dollar General and I got a broom and I got some spray cleaner, like just all purpose cleaner. And I got a couple of inexpensive washcloths. I got some toilet paper just in case. And I got some um, paper towels. So I'm not like fully stocked to clean. And I think the cleaning guy comes one more time, but I just kind of wanted to have a few things on hand in case there's a spill or something. We can wipe it up pretty quickly. I am feeling somewhat frazzled today. I feel like Things didn't really go as planned. I still haven't heard from Best Buy. I've got to call them back. But the landscaper guy is almost done. Brian, Brian Gibson with All Star Landscape in case you need a landscaper in the DFW area. He's excellent, he's awesome. Um, and he's been very accommodating with our schedules and stuff like that. So 
they're almost done and I'm about to pay them. And the appraiser is gonna be here in about 15 minutes or so. And I'm just hoping that goes well. <laughs> and um, I'm nervous, I'm stressed, but it's all, it's all gonna work out. God didn't bring us this far just to bring us this far. Am I right? Am I right? Can I get a, can I get an amen? Can I get a witness? And yeah, so that's what's happening right now. Um, I just swept because we had tracked in some mud and I wasn't sure if the guy had done a cleaning in here. It doesn't look like he's mopped, but just in case I did, I didn't want to like leave everything. I'm going to need to mop again before we start moving in. Um, and then I'll mop again after we get stuff moved in, just so that way when the furniture starts arriving, we've got to order furniture. We haven't done that yet. We're going to wait till we close. Probably going to close Monday. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. And assuming we get a good appraisal, because we're gonna get a good appraisal. I'm putting this out in the universe. We're gonna get a good appraisal. Um, I'm trying to work from my phone, which is going eh, um, because it's a little hard to multitask and do several different things. So maybe this is God telling me, slow down. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But it is almost 12 and I'm hungry, but there's a Jack in the Box right next to the door. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for Jack in the Box, but um, ready to start uh, getting stuff done. Just gotta get through a few more days and things will be able to be easier because we'll know how much it appraised for, we'll have closed on the houses, and things will be much better. So anyway, that's what's happening right now, guys, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so not a lot has happened. I was about to say, not much has happened. Yes. Wow. Did y'all hear that? Literally scared me. That was the, <laughs> I guess my dryer stopping. I mean, you need to calm down with the notification because that freaking scared me. Yep, yeah, I guess it's done. Yeah, it's done, but man. Talk about I mean, y'all saw me almost drop the camera. Freaking that loud. Yeah, this will take some getting used to because it's not the same as we have now, but um, I've got all the paperwork. I've got to do warranties and stuff on that. So here's my washer and dryer. And yes, I can reach the... Um, the bottom, what? Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. If you're a short person like me, it's awesome. What is this, Canada? Inner, inner guy. Um, I am just gonna leave this stuff here. I don't have time to deal with it right now. I don't have the patience. And why I don't have patience right now is because, let me close my laundry room. Let me show you. Let me show you, let me show you what's bothering me right now. Oh, the fireplace guy still hasn't come yet, but that's another story. Did I tell you guys that? I don't know if I did or not. I'll tell you really quick. So the fireplace guy comes and he says, oh, the fireplace is not working, it's not whatever. So then I call the gas company and they're like, oh, it's if it's no pressure or low pressure, whatever, that's considered an emergency. So we send a tech out right away and don't operate any type of uh, electronics. I guess that would cause a spark, that would cause it to blow up or whatever. I'm like, okay, enough said, I won't do that. So I hung out outside and then eventually the Atmos guys came and the guy that did the fireplace apparently did not blow the air out. I don't know how that works. I'm not an expert on that, but he did not do that. Also, I don't know when the paint guy is coming because like there's several things that need to be painted and touched up. But let me show you. Let me show you what's. Let me show you what's throwing uh, Lisa for a loop today. That could be a new segment on the show. What's throwing Lisa for a loop today? Okay, no, I'm not trying to be dramatic. Here, let me get you a cold water. Out of here, let me get you. Oh, I can't because there's no fridge. <sighs> Y'all, okay. So they had the wrong address despite me calling yesterday to verify said address to make sure it was correct. 
So I said, okay, so then can I get it set up for tomorrow? And she goes like, oh no, you can't set up a new, the change the address in the system and you can't update the system until they check the stuff back in. Tonight. Y'all, I was like, okay. <laughs> well, can we go ahead, what times do you have available tomorrow so I can just kind of plan my day? She goes, oh, it won't be delivered tomorrow because it won't be delivered till at least Friday. I said, is there somebody else I can talk to? Is there a manager? I mean, like, seriously, if the, can you not just call the guy on the truck and just say, hey, where are you? Can you swing by Mesquite? And she's like, no, we can't contact the driver. Yes, you can. If there was an emergency, you, you could contact the driver. Don't tell me you can't contact the driver. Don't tell me you don't know his cell phone number, okay? So I'm trying to, like, remember my word for this year was grace. I don't know if you guys remember, but it's grace, amazing grace, and I'm like, Okay, it is what it is. So the appraiser has come and gone, by the way, and um, I told her what I needed it to be at, and so she's gonna try to make it happen. I said, please, please try, because I need some, like, I need some good stuff happening. Good stuff already is happening, guys. And um, I got a little, um, I feel a little short-tempered right now. I feel a little short on patience. Partly because I haven't eaten a thing today besides the hot chocolate that I had this morning. So, I'm gonna go get myself something to eat. It's only two o'clock. <laughs> I mean, why not Why not just wait to eat till next week? I mean, yeah, I'm starving. I'm really, I'm getting hangry. I am hangry, I'm not even getting, I am hangry. I did go to the store and buy some things, but you know, God, my, my island literally is so big, I, I can't reach to, to wipe the whole island. Isn't that funny? Like, I just really, I can't reach the whole island, so. Oh, now somebody's calling me. Maybe it's them saying that the refrigerator's coming. Hair is colored. She added some like darkness to the ends so that it would, I don't know, look better. Who knows? She just added some darkness. I also got a wet brush because remember I broke my other one. And while I was here, hold on. Okay. I got some Fenty foundation and I got Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and it's in a color super close to the color of my Cruella NARS um, lipstick that I like so much. So done shopping now I'm going to go ahead and get some cat food and then see if Marvin wants me to pick him something up for dinner. Oh look so cute. Oh look, a little chambray shirt. That's super cute. Um, but I don't need that today. Yeah, of course um, right? Okay, and then I go to PetSmart. I already said that. And then I'm gonna go get something to eat. Unless Marvin has either started something or is just eating something at home. But we're about to move, so there's limited groceries and not about buying all the groceries because of the fiasco with the stupid refrigerator today. But you know what? In a couple weeks, this will all be done. We'll be moved in, we'll be enjoying it, we'll be relaxed, less stressed, and things will be wonderful. This is really pretty. That's a pretty dress. I like that. I'm out towards PetSmart. I was going to go in PetSmart and I thought, oh, I'm so close to Ross. Let's go in Ross, but that ain't, that ain't, that isn't Ross. That's five below, which I've never been in. So I thought, well, let's go waste a few minutes and go look in there and see what they've got. Okay, so now I'm home and, this is kind of weird. So I'm home now and we are straightening up the house because there's going to be a final walkthrough before closing tomorrow. And we are going to, uh, uh, just straight up the house basically just straighten it up there's not much to clean there's there's no furniture so we're gonna clean off the island straighten up over here and kind of dust a little bit and uh, I'll make sure the sensies are loaded and ready to go in the morning and today while I was at PetSmart I didn't talk to you guys but I did I I don't remember I don't think I took you in PetSmart with me anyway I got cat food enough cat food to last a little bit 
the ocean whitefish and tuna entree flaked. And I also got something called feel away, which uh, if you don't know, cats or animals in general can get stressed when they are going to be moving. So in order to kind of reduce that, kind of calm it down, you can do certain things. And one of them is to diffuse this product called feel away and it's proven effective in nine out of ten cats makes your cat feel at home <laughs> start to see results in seven days so what was suggested to me was I would start I have a diffuser it's not I guess it's a diffuser but it's like one of those wallflowers you buy from best bed bath and gone anyways or bath and body works so what we're gonna do is put the diffuser on now and we had one for captain I just can't find it so I bought another one um, we're gonna put plug this in so they can start smelling the scent and then on Friday or Saturday when we move to go start sleeping over there we will plug this in over there so they smell it over there so then they'll say like oh, I'm calm so that's the plan and I got a I can do an unboxing. Oh my goodness. I probably won't. I'll just open the box and show you what I got. But I think it is our new comforter. And I got a velvet velour kind of one because doing my research, that's less likely to be like clawed and scratched by your cats. And I'm not trying to make everything cat proof, cat friendly, but I'm just trying to reduce the I'm trying to reduce like their tendencies to scratch i guess if you will so anyway we'll see if it works maybe maybe not also got a friend hey friend <laughs> hope you're not staying too long because this is a this is not a permanent home you need to be prepared to move on i don't know if it's going to be that see i'm perimenopausal TMI, oh I should have, TMI alert, TMI alert. I'm perimenopausal, so for the last two or three months I've had a period. But prior to that, for like six months or for the past year prior to that, I only had a period like once every three months. So, and that was fine with me. Either way, it's fine with me, but um, so. I don't know if this means I'm gonna start a period. I don't know, but I need to help Marvin clean up. So we can get down to relaxing and get another long day tomorrow. It's closing day and I gotta be to work early. Marvin has to be to work early and we've got stuff to do. There, there's Marvin right there. Say hi to the, hi to the vlog family. I love my husband. He's being super patient with me and I am not being patient, not so much. Not so much patience on my end. But I'm trying to breathe and think in two weeks this will be a memory we can get through this we're awesome and strong together but just getting a little short-tempered and that's not a nice person to be because I'm trying to be an exceptional wife so anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here because I need to help clean up and get all this done so we can go relax and get ready for another awesome day tomorrow because we're closing on this house We've lived in this house how many years, honey? 22? 21. 21. 21, almost 22. If we'd made it till September, it would have been 22 years that we've lived in this house. That's a long time. And looking forward to the new adventure in the new house. And yeah, so anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.